So this guy doesn't deserve this much attention, but he's so stupid <laughs> that it's fun. It's I think I think he's quite a great spokesman and a credit to <laughs> a credit to APAC. This is this is exactly <laughs> this is the, exactly the kind of help Israel doesn't need. His fucking morons like this. So let's let's just watch and let's enjoy. All right, I'm in Jerusalem at the Makane Yehuda Market. I'm looking for the apartheid. Okay, in Israel, I am looking for the apartheid. I just asked all these people, not one person is able to tell me where the apartheid is. So I'm asking Holy you shit. on this platform, since you're so smart, to tell me where I can go to actually witness the apartheid. You guys know where the apartheid is? No, no idea. No one knows where the apartheid is, but I'm sure you can tell me. Let me know where the apartheid in Israel is. Holy shit. All right, I'm in Jerusalem. So, <laughs> I'm, where, where's the apartheid? <laughs> what are what's what is apartheid? Am I apartheid? Oh my god! Michael is technically right, Kurt, because uh, Israel is much worse than apartheid. Apartheid would be like a two-state solution. Israel is guilty of genocide. Yeah, genocide. Genocide. Uh, maybe by the, the way, people didn't know what word he was saying. Maybe that's it. Because it's apartheid. Because it's apartheid. Genius. It's not apartheid. Apartheid died. Um, so this young lady made a funny video about this. I'm on the Upper East Side, and I keep asking people, where is the apartheid? Where is the fucking income inequality? I haven't seen a single fucking project here on the Upper East Side. I need to get back into the middle of the road and look somewhere else that's not the camera. <laughs> Listen, you fuck. The only thing I fucking see is older ladies with Hermes scarves up here. Where's the apartheid? It's like when you fuck say that there is police brutality. Really? Because I was just walking by a fucking precinct and saw a black cop you want to say there's police brutality show me just like you fucks want to say that there's a parthine <laughs> well i'm here i'm here on the upper east side you fuck show me where it is i haven't seen a single poor black up here or <laughs> any black people at all i refuse to leave fucking tel aviv but i need you to show me where the apartheid is you fucks I was helping a fucking settler move into a house he stole in the Occupied West Bank. And the Palestinian family that were fucking in there didn't even try to fight the armed IOF moving their shit out, okay? <laughs> now if you'll like, fucking excuse me, I'm gonna go have a Palestinian child for lunch. <laughs> so that that was that was hilarious. She's gotta be more nasal if she wants to really nail it. Well, she's she nailed the essence. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just like how Michael Rappaport pretends he's actually looking for it. As a, that's what that's he can't find the thing that he cannot remotely afford to look for. Even in a dictionary, he can't look up how to say it. Yeah, yeah, right. He won't even look up how to say it in the dictionary. But he is seriously serious about truly investigating the matter. And in his proof, he asked several local Israelis if there's a problem in any way, huh. which is kind of like asking. The mafia, if it exists, <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, no, we're legitimate businessmen. Huh? It was, uh, in the olive oil business. Again, I can't even put on the Israelis because he called it apartheid like five times. Come around back. I'll show you my prospectus. What apartheid. What apartheid. So that was that was hilarious. I want to watch it again. I'm on the Upper East Side, and I keep asking people, where is the apartheid? Where is the fucking income inequality? I haven't seen a single fucking project here on the Upper East Side. I need to get back into the middle of the road and look somewhere else that's not the camera. Listen, you fucks. The only thing I fucking see is older ladies with Hermes scarves up here. Where's the apartheid? It's like when you fucks say that there is police brutality. Really? Because I was just walking by a fucking pre and saw a black cop. You want to say there's police brutality? Show me. Just like you fucks want to say that there's a parthied. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm here. I'm here on the Upper East Side. You fucks show me where it is. <laughs> I haven't seen a single poor black up here. Or any black people at all. I refuse to leave fucking Tel Aviv. But I need you to show me where the apartheid is, you fucks. 
I was helping a fucking settler move into a house he stole in the occupied West Bank. And the Palestinian family that were fucking in there didn't even try to fight the armed IOF moving their shit out, okay? <laughs> <laughs> now if you'll like fucking excuse me, I'm gonna go have a Palestinian child for lunch. <laughs> you know, if if Michael Rappaport's watching that right now, he's probably saying, "Why is she acting like that?" <laughs> he's not watching that. I mean, I agree with everything she's saying, but I don't want to say she stole my act. <laughs> <laughs> So you want to see what the apartheid is, Michael? Here's here's what the apartheid. This is a guy named Robert Martin. He went there. He's going to show you where the apartheid is in Israel. Here we go. I'm in Hebron, and I've just been told about a wall. So this gate locks about 40 Palestinian families in, and it actually locks uh, at certain times where they can't come out. And this actual side of the road that I'm walking on, Palestinians can't come. There's actually a bus stop over behind me, and the Palestinians aren't allowed to take it. I can take it. The Palestinians can't take it. It's complete racism at the heart. And if I walk over here at the bus stop, you'll see. How you doing? You can see the heavily guarded stuff for the Palestinians. So I wonder who's protecting who. They all seem so worried about the Palestinians. There's nothing to worry about. It's terrible. Do you like the racism? I like racism. Yeah. What do you think about the Palestinians not being able to walk along here? Uh, yeah. I don't know, I don't really think too much about it. That's because you don't think about other people? Or? Of course I do. And well, then how can you not think when they can't walk here and they can't get the bus? Huh? They can't get the bus, they can't do anything. What do you think? Okay. You're right. You don't have to read up. You're living here, man. They're not allowed over here on the bus. Live live in America. Come here if you can. American dollars paying up. Fantastic. Hey, can I ask you what you think of the racism here? What do you think? What do you think about the Palestinians not being able to walk here? Don't care? What? You don't care? So, I don't see the arrogance? Understand see the, you see the arrogance about it? It's very arrogant that they're racist right to the heart. It's disgusting. You should be really ashamed of yourself. Say hi, huh? You're looking for peace? Just want to steal all of Palestine? You should be ashamed of yourselves. So there's a little bit of the uh, apartheid that Michael Rappaport's looking for. What if him and for. that guy bump into each other? That'd be a great video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if Michael Rappaport bumped into that guy, yeah. Robert Martin. By the way, that's Robert Martin, not Robbie Martin. Robbie Martin's a little... And uh, <laughs> Who's like, Robbie Martin? No, you don't need to know. Okay. He's fucking nuts. He's that... Uh, <clears throat> um, anyway, uh, you want to see it again? Here's some more. On one road separated by an eight meter high concrete wall topped with a metal fencing with a Palestinian side and an Israeli side. Route 4370 is a highway that connects the illegal settlements in the Israeli occupied West Bank and Jerusalem, and it was opened in 2019. So let's watch. This is it. The Israeli occupied West Bank is hardly devoid of barriers, but few tell the story of division here in quite such a dramatic way. This is Road 4370, northeast of Jerusalem. The left side is for those with Palestinian papers, the right for those bearing Israeli documents. Side by side, but each part of an entirely different road network. Some have labeled it the Apartheid Road. Last month, Palestinian and Israeli activists blocked the highway, calling it discriminatory, part of plans to annex the West Bank. So it's like a carpool lane, but racist. <laughs> right? That's shocking. I mean, you know, you always hear about diversity being a strength, but it's the kryptonite of Israel, apparently. Uh, so after someone posted that, Michael Rappaport came back with, had one of the best home-cooked farm-to-table meals of my life last night in one of those settlements. He puts in quotes. What, like, like they don't exist? We just showed you them. I'm not clear on his argument here. Goes, Fuck your stock footage. <laughs> He's calling this stock footage. Okay, but it's stock footage of a of, real Of a wall. real thing. Of a real, yeah. <laughs> it's not stock footage from another Do country. You think it's a made-up wall? Yeah. How come we don't have a goddamn wall at the border, but they can have a wall for apartheid? That's amazing. Isn't that amazing? And we probably paid for it. Well, they know where the wall went. 
Wow. Boy, I bet I bet Michael Rappaport built up a lot of phlegm eating a meal like that. Am I right? <laughs> wow. Guy had two meals that night. So what? how is this evidence that there's no apartheid? Because they have meals? Farm-to-table meals. Everyone knows <laughs> settlements don't have that. Also, look at the settlements in quotes. I, I, I don't... This evidence doesn't seem to be connected to anything. It's kind of like when Lindsey Graham said the Iraq war was going well because he bought five rugs for $5. I know, and I believed him. I feel like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were winning because he got five rugs for $5. <laughs> that was less stupid than what Michael Rappaport said. That's at least connected to the conflict, yes. the price of rugs. This is this is absolutely like apropos of nothing. Uh, fuck your stuff, footage. Here's some stock footage from, from Kosher Meals I found online. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, I, do, do you think he had the best home-cooked farm-to-table meal, or do you think they gave him that to post? Look, and there, you can see there's some blood stains on the table from the Palestinians getting slaughtered. No, there's not. But uh, In stock footage? Everything is pristine and perfect, Kurt. But let me just inter interject the word fuck in there for no reason. Can I put that in there? <laughs> fuck. Show me. He should be at the table going, show me the apartheid. So, by the way, I normally don't like to do this, but I'll make an excuse. There's <laughs> my... <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference between Michael Rappaport and a potato? Uh, a potato does more actual research into the truth than Michael Rappaport. <laughs> I honestly thought Michael Rappaport was Irish up until this conflict. I didn't the know whole he was. Time I thought he was an Irish I guy. thought he was too. I didn't know he was Jewish. Honest. Anyway, that was fun. Hey, come see us live on tour in Los Angeles, Palm Springs, Stockholm, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Berlin, Copenhagen, Oslo, Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, Cortland, New York, Oakmont, Pennsylvania, right outside Pittsburgh, El Paso, and San Antonio, Texas. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm -hmm.